Welcome Capricorn. This reading is going to be about someone you're not talking to, maybe in separation with, or you're just really curious about. Okay, so again, to take what resonates with these readings. Let's see what's coming through here for Capricorn. All right, we have the Nine of Rings, which is the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, we have the Spirit of Rings. I love that. I love, love, love that. Queen of Swords. All right. Capricorn, I see energies. I see like you investing in yourself, breaking some cycles, kind of really investing in you in a way. Um, very self-made energy. And what comes with this is like there's a new opportunity that feels like there's a lot of potential. But we do have this Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords can perceive things in a very detached way when it's in the reverse. So I would just be aware of that. But we do have this beautiful overall energy of the Queen of Wands, who is naturally just beautiful and infectious and like turns heads, very inspiring. So there's like this motivational energy coming in, just this more of like feeling good again in some way, okay? But there's also a sense of being upset with certain things too. So I'm feeling like two moods going back and forth. So let's see what this is. This is more of independence with the nine of rings, but also this is also could be working on your worth. You know, you know, just sometimes not feeling like enough in some way or feeling unworthy in some area to where you put like a lot, like you could be putting a lot of pressure on yourself. So I feel too, just by like this energy is definitely really needed that I feel is coming in to, um, feel good to feel worthy to feel enough okay all right let's see oh actually let me shuffle this oh we have the devil and the six of cups oh the devil in the past <laughs> i don't know but that just came up all right let's get let's, let me just shuffle this really quick capricorn Then we'll clarify uh, using um, another deck of cards here. All right, I love this. This is more of that healing card. We have the star, we have the four of wands, we have the five of wands, which is in the challenge. Six of pentacles, the page of wands, the nine of pentacles, the nine of swords. <laughs> And the three of wands there is a lot of thinking here in the near future but we have op something coming to you there's an opportunity coming to you no doubt there's good news there's things moving quick uh, even possibly have to make a quick decision in something i don't know but it just feels like progress and there's a spirit of ring spirit of rings and this is a new opportunity of something that has the potential to grow to something huge you know, you put your time, your energy into something, and this comes out to be very fulfilling. Um, let's clarify. We have the King of Pentacles, super abundant energy. Very, like, it's like hardworking, money determined, right? Why is the star here in Capricorn's energy? The magician. The star in the reverse. There's lack of faith in your energy, lack of hope. The magician can be very, very powerful. You could manifest so much light and everything you desire just by your energy. When it's in the reverse, you could do this exact opposite. So it's very important to know where your energy is going because you're gonna be pulling certain things in or pushing them out with any like with this type of energy with the magician so i feel like this is more of just to bring awareness of yourself and how you perceive things because the star is when it's when it's in the reverse it's like i don't see something happening i don't believe that can happen you know or it's just losing faith, losing hope, just like just in the space of, of tr trying to free yourself from this type of mindset, right? So that's what I'm seeing your energy like. 
And that's where I feel the Queen of Swords kind of creeps in, in the reverse, you know? Like, real talk here, Capricorn. That's what I'm seeing. The Four of Wands. Six of Cups. Six of Cups in the reverse can be somebody returning from the past. Yeah, somebody could be returning from the past, or there may be triggers from the past, or tra traumas, or certain situations of trying to process something but I am seeing a past person wanting or somebody wanting to reconnect from the past um, and then we have the fool maybe wanting to start this new beginning maybe spark something up again but the challenge is is it is the five of wands there's a block here there's something that's stuck when it comes to this energy there's something that you fight with. The nine of coins, man, is coming up. And I love the nine of coins. The nine of uh, pentacles, nine of pentacles in the challenge, nine of pentacles here. There's a sense of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be that sign, but the challenge is also a king of cups in the reverse. And I'm gonna tell you something about the king of cups in the reverse. This energy is very distant, okay? They could be very moody and triggered, okay? Hard to talk to, very standoffish. It's because they lost control of their emotion. They're not sure on how, like, what they're feeling, what they're doing. It's like, hard to manage the emotional area, okay? This could be somebody you're dealing with or someone that you can be, per, like, you know, maybe feeling inside. But it all has to do about independence, need to evaluate feels like a sense of needing to protect yourself or there's a sense of giving up maybe it's this king of cups we also have this king of swords coming in in the past king of swords queen of swords definitely someone you may not you may be really upset with or hold resentment <laughs> it's like trying to move past something here with the six of swords i don't know you guys it just feels like there is a sense of cutting off somebody we have gemini libra aquarius coming in now like I'm even getting a sense of like just really attached to something, to this energy or this situation or this idea. But the King of Swords in the reverse is very cold and detached. Moving to calmer waters. This person's thinking uh, about a message and they're very unhappy. I feel like they're curious because they're unhappy. They're feeling weak right now. They're self-doubting everything. So I don't know if there was an argument with you and this person and now not sure like what's gonna happen. Or maybe this felt like the person that maybe have been the one or maybe thought you had potential with. There's just a sense of this energy now feeling a lot of self-doubt, feeling overwhelmed. It's like something's holding them back. And it's this Nine of Pentacles. This is like independence, being single card, you know, trying to find peace. Page of Coins. Yeah, I don't know. This is it, just a little confusing because even this Page of Coins is coming in and it's going to be broken promises. So I feel like somebody lacked a lot here. Can't give you really what you want. Because there's a fight when it comes, like you're fighting with yourself or you're fighting with this energy or just this, there's this challenge that is hard to overcome with this energy. It's hard to bring balance in, right? And it feels like this person wants peace. They feel unhappy that things are not balanced. They feel unhappy that things are not at peace right now. But are they doing anything about it? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Are they distracted by something else, someone else? I don't know, but it's just saying like they are disappointed about this. Okay, maybe they think you're distracted by someone else, but it does show like there is um, 
some hurt here and some anger towards each other. And a lot of uh, in the near future, I know you guys don't really want to hear this or maybe it's already has happened to you, but the Seven of Swords with the Ten of Swords is coming in. Something that's really hard to accept, but the Seven of Swords is not, is not what you're wanting because you could be in your head for a while, especially with that Nine of Swords. It's like something is triggering here and it's bringing in some hurt. And now it's like the sense of accepting of something here that felt like your wish. But now it's like, I have to accept something because there's too much sneakiness or someone's not being truthful or there may be a sense of um, an affair or something going on, right? But there is the Seven of Swords does represent like hiding. And it feels like I don't wanna hide anymore. So it's like you're accepting something but it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. And this has helped helps you in some way move forward and allow other opportunities to come in once this acceptance occurs, which we have the world. <laughs> Closing out the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can even like be now being truth to yourself. You know, it can be like denial, but really I feel is that something here didn't fit, didn't sit right with you anymore. And this is like a soulmate type of energy, Six of Cups, but it doesn't feel like it fits in your life. It feels like it's getting pushed out because there is a sense of now acceptance. And to do that, you're closing out a chapter where it does feel like once you accept this and see things for what it is, the world comes through, which feels more fulfillment in your life because you hit this big milestone, right? And this is, should be a time of being really proud of yourself because things are gonna start coming together now in, in some way. But sometimes things can get very dark or we know, we think we, we can have all these things in our life and deal with them, but no, it's like there's something here that just doesn't feel right to you anymore and it looks like you are starting to close out a cycle and something's coming to an end. And this all helps you take action and to be open to what's coming in, which is this beautiful energy of the Queen of Wands, feeling worthy, feeling enough, Things start moving fast, opportunities start coming in, and you're just so fulfilled and abundant. Like, I feel like that's what you are going towards, regardless. You know, it's like there's more possibilities. You're starting to see the possibilities of things. Because this can be a very hard place to be, but I do see with the star, there's a lot of healing, though, still. There's a lot of things to process. And to heal and that takes time but I just see like with this seven of swords you're not wanting it anymore you're just not wanting it and it does show a completion and closing out a chapter and starting a new beginning in your life which comes the full which is fresh new starts so let's see what this person's feeling here because I am seeing an energy oh this person I love you just being near you is intoxicating. So it could be something very unhealthy for you too, right? Feeling like somebody's a drug or situations like a drug, uh, but it turns into a pattern and it kind of keeps you stuck. And it's like, well, it's not, it becomes unhealthy in some way. So I'm, again, take what resonates. This person wants you. <laughs> well, this doesn't help. Okay, I want you. but we need to let each other go. I remember de uh, every detail of that day. You know, this is exactly what I'm saying. 
There's no doubt there's love. There's no doubt of desire. There's no doubt of anything. It's just something here. You got to let go. Like this person knows we've got to leave. No matter how much something we want, there's some big challenge here, big block to where there's like, yeah, there's like an acceptance. Those are hard situations. So let's go ahead and get some advice um, from Spirit. This is more of overall, like what is Spirit asking from you or what you should be focusing on at this time. Release. So Spirit is saying you're being asked to release any toxic people or situation from your life. You deserve to be free of all drama, and this is the first step to achieving that. So I don't know how much more clear <laughs> that can be, but again, take what resonates with these readings, and you don't always have to follow the advice, but this is something that is coming up, and again, take what resonates. But if you do like this reading, because I am gonna leave this right here for you, Capricorn, if you do like this reading or perhaps it resonated with you in any way, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.